guys, what's up? It's Mika, and I'm back. So, I took a big break, and I'm back, and I want to post a lot more. I'm sorry for taking a couple months off, but we hit 10K. I'm super uh, hyped about that, so thank you guys so much for that. But anyways, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So, today we're going to be building a, um, a game where you're a ship, and you shoot bullets, and you are trying to defend Earth from meteors. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty fun game, and I'm excited. I'm going to be finishing this game and not going to leave it hanging for a while, like I've done with some of my uh, previous episodes, but hopefully we can finish this in a couple parts. Alright, so the first, thing we need to do, the first thing we need to do is go into our stage, and in order to make the, ba uh, the graphics pretty easy, um, this is weird because we don't really mess with the stage too much, we're going to fill in the color black in our screen. Alright, so the next thing, as we usually do, is delete this. And we're going to create a new sprite that we're going to paint. Now, uh, this is basically, it's, you don't have to do the exact same. If you guys have a better idea, go ahead. But this is kind of, oh, let's make that white. And this is kind of my view for how the game's going to look. There we go. Okay, so now it's perfectly aligned. Both sides are even. And we'll just add white to the sides. Okay, cool. So we're going to implement simple mechanics into our sliding. Uh, this is, today we're just going to be working on the slide feature. And the way that's going to work is we're going to create a variable called delta x mouse. And the important thing is to change this for this sprite only, which is something we don't do that often, especially uh, when you guys make games with me. And so essentially what this means is this is going to be the amount of space there is, or the amount of pixels, from your mouse to the ship. But not counting in terms of this way, only sideways. That's why we called it X. Delta is just another word for change, if you guys have learned about that yet. But anyways, we're going to drag in a when flag is clicked. We're going to drag in a forever. And we're going to always set this delta x mouse to what I said, the difference between our mouse's x and the x position of this sprite. So simple mathematics right here. We're going to put this here. And then we're going to uh, drag in here and let's see, mouse x. And then go into motion and say x position. So now if you look at the variable, it's going to be 170, 90. And then when you come closer to it, it's going to be 0. If you go the opposite way, it becomes negative. Next thing we want to do is drag in a change x by, and we're going to, yeah, that might, it's going to glitch out a little bit, but we're going to drag in a division sign. And for, just to show you how it works, we're going to drag 20. And I'm actually going to duplicate this and remove it this way. And uh, in the first bar right here, we want to put delta x mouse. All right, so let's look at this code right here. Do you guys see how much more smooth it is? Now, obviously, I've exaggerated it, so we want to change it back to something like 9. And that'll show how it's a little smoother. And that is much favorable, much more favorable um, uh, to this method, which is simply what you would think. And which is, uh, here, let's see, set x to mouse x. And you can see that it's a lot more choppy, right? It might be more accurate, but it doesn't make the game look fluid. And so to, f uh, to fix that, we're going to actually remove this and put this back in. Now you guys can see how much smoother this is. So this is something you can use in all your codes. Um, and in any game you have, you guys can just copy this code into that one. Okay, so uh, I'm going to trash this because we're obviously not going to go with that one. But yeah, this is how it's going to look for right now. So the last thing we're going to add this episode is to simply add a earth in the background. And so we're going to create a new sprite, and we're going to make a circle that is the size of the entire screen. So that's how it should look, and we're going to put this on the ground right there. All right, perfect. Uh, I might want to use a little darker shade of blue. Mm, that doesn't look nice. Okay, I'll just use this one, the one that we went before. Okay, so now this is basically the simplest part of our game. There's going to be meteors coming from the top, and we're going to have to defend them with our bullets. All right, 
thanks for watching guys i'll see you guys next time leave a like on the video and make sure to subscribe so that you can see the part two thanks